Good morning, everyone, and happy Friday. Happy end of the week. I am so excited this end of the week for a couple different reasons. Number one, um, well, I'm, I'll be excited to get this day over. I have to go to the office today. Ugh. Um, yeah, it's my round to go to the office, so I have to do that. And then um, also today I'm going to Cincinnati because it's my godson's birth. Well, my godson's birthday was yesterday, so I'm going down with his family to help celebrate. So I'm really excited um, for the weekend. And again, y'all know I love the weekend. I love just having days off where I can clear my mind, reset, refresh, spend time with family and friends. So I'm really looking forward to this weekend. Um, unfortunately, I am running behind my schedule Normally, my morning schedule, I have enough time to, you know, make this video, edit this video, post this video in the morning, but I am honestly out of tune with waking up in the morning, so if anything, I just need to get back into it, but that's okay, because a part of our spiritual detox for these next nine weeks is getting our lives together as well. A spiritual detox or a spiritual cleanse will help us with all areas of our life, really, so I really wanted to take down my hair this morning. And I didn't, so I'm going into the office, you know, with my twist. So, God bless. God bless. It is a blessed day, and we're going to hop right into it. So, as always, God is blessing us. He's always going to be blessing us. Today um, concludes our last day talking about the spiritual fruit love, or the fruit of the spirit love. So, just to recap, if this is your first day watching, um, this month in June, we um, started talking, we started a new goal focus that's actually going to last us all the way until the end of July. So the goal focus is to be of good spirit and to be of good spirit pretty much means that we are desiring the things that are good or that are morally righteous or um, you will, yeah, that are morally right or morally righteous. Um, we're desiring to have those things in our spirit. So in order to do that, we need to do a spiritual cleanse. Get rid of the things that are of old and adopt the things that are new. Now, what are the spirits or what are the things that are good that we should want to adopt in our spirit? Well, they can be found in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22, to 22 through 23. And those things are called the fruits of the spirit. It's the fruit of the spirit. So... The fruit of the spirit are honestly the this um, fruit or qualities of God's spirit that we should be desiring after. We should be desiring to have, I won't go through all of them now because we're going to get through them in the upcoming weeks, but the first one that we talked about was love. And again, I said that it was so on time for us to talk about love first, especially with everything going on, on around us because I said it last week and I'll say it again, we were created in love for love to love. So that means love should be our center for everything that we do we should be moving in love we should be speaking in love we should be acting in love we should be thinking in love we should be doing all these things in love so um on wednesday we talked about different types of love and then also love languages which i hope you did your homework to figure out what your love language was and um what you know people around you what their love language is remember if you recognize this pen you know what my love language is and that's all i'm gonna say um, so yeah, um, but the main type of love that I wanted us to focus on was that agape love. So that's that unconditional love, that altruistic love, and that's the love that God shows us first. That means that regardless of what we do, regardless of what we say, and which is so crazy if you think about it, and I don't want to make this like a preaching moment, but it's so crazy when you think about it, that we can do so many bad things in this world. If we just ask for forgiveness and turn from our our wicked ways or our evil ways, turn from the things that separated, that caused us to ask for forgiveness, turn from those ways and truly come to him with a pure heart and say, look, God, I'm sorry. I'm not going to do it again. I want to, I desire to have a relationship with you and to move forward with you. He'd be like, okay, come on, come on with open arms. Come on. So that, that honestly is crazy. If you really think about it, because I mean, think about yourself, like, well, I think about myself. I know that I do not exhibit um, that type of love. So, but in our spiritual cleanse, in our spiritual detox, we are desiring that type of love. We're desiring to exhibit that type of love. Will we be able to um, uh, express that? I don't know. Probably not. Maybe to your children or something. But um, we are desiring to express that love to everyone and every situation as well. I know a lot of things are going on with um, racism in the world, but we still should be showing love. 
That's hard to do, but that is what we are desiring. Okay, that's hard. That's what we're desiring. So today, how do you live a lifestyle of love? Honestly, once you get it in your mind that you are, once you've done your spiritual detox and you get in your mind that you want, to, that you understand you're created in love, for love, to love, and you want to move forward in love, honestly, you have to work on it every single second of every day, especially if you're just coming off of a detox or especially if you just turn your life towards a lifestyle full of love. Um, you really have to understand that it's a, a, a lot of it is about biting your tongue, okay? Thinking before you speak, making thinking really before you do anything because you have to ask yourself all the time, am I moving in love? Is this going to express love? Or am I spewing hate? Am I spewing negativity? Am I causing this other person to now spew hate back on me? So it, it's going to be hard. I'm not going to lie. It's going to be hard. Sometimes you are going to be the only one that is standing in love. But the greatest thing about love is that it is so contagious. Okay, so if I am doing things in love, you you specifically might not catch it, but the person next to you will catch it. Then the person next to them might catch it. And that's honestly how it spreads. And I'm not just saying going up, I'm not just, you know, talking about going up to someone and saying, oh, I love you. Have a great day. But love is also about actions. That's why we talked about the different types of love because you could express, um, a playful love to someone that it, that um, will affect them just as much as a romantic love that you ex express to someone else. And that was just an example. Or, you know, if I know your love language is quality time, I don't have to say to you all the time, I love you, but just spending time with you, doing the things that you like to do, or just hanging out, that is showing my love towards you. So that is why it's important to know the different types of love and the love languages. That way, when we are communicating with people, it's not all about, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, because that could get old really quick. But you really have to understand how to communicate in love, for love, through love, so that people can feel it and not just hear it. That was important. I'm gonna say that again. You have to understand how to communicate through love so people can feel it and not just hear it. And I'm going to drop the mic there because that's a great um, place to end. So yes, that concludes our week full of love. Again, do your homework on the different types of love and the love languages. If you have any questions, feel free to DM me. I, I don't know, I'm sure half of it, but you know, the little that I do know, I'm, I should be able to point you in the right direction at least. So Hope everyone has a great Friday and a fabulous weekend, and I will talk to you guys on Monday. Bye.